Today's recipe, saging naturon or banana lumpia. If you enjoyed this recipe, please subscribe to our channel for more recipes every week. Let's get started! Let's make our cinnamon sugar by combining 2 cups of sugar, a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon powder, and a pinch of salt. Let's give it a good mix to combine, then set aside. Now let's get the jackfruit ready as filling. If you're using fresh jackfruit, prevent the sticky sap from sticking by coating the knife with cooking oil. Next is to oil the palm of your hands as well. Then cut and discard the center core to expose the aril fruit pods. Pull the fruit pod one at a time and remove the white stringy part or tendrils. Cut the pod open then remove the seed. You should have a total of 8 to 10 pods. Then go ahead and cut them into thin strips just like so. Cut the bottom end of the plantain banana. Make a slit on one side of the banana peeling. Carefully open it with your fingers to expose the banana. Pull the banana gently then place it in a bowl. I used a total of 8 plantain bananas. Cut the banana to your desired length and thickness. I like to cut mine into quarters lengthwise. Doing so will give me 4 pieces for each banana. Set them aside for later use. I pre-sorted and separated a package of lumpia or spring roll wrappers. Make sure to cover them with a damp kitchen cloth. Combine 1 tablespoon of water with a large egg. Then give it a whisk. We will use the egg wash to seal the banana lumpia. Now let's toss the banana in the cinnamon sugar. And make sure it's fully covered. Place the sugared banana on the wrapper. Generously add some jackfruit strips. Brush both sides of the wrapper with egg wash. Make sure the liquid is being absorbed. Gently lift the end closest to you to roll firmly. Stop three quarters of the way while pressing both ends to seal. Brush the remaining wrappers with more egg wash. Then continue to roll firmly to seal. Make sure both ends are also sealed. Put it on a parchment lined baking sheet. I was able to make two dozen of uncooked banana lumpia. I cover them with parchment paper to prevent them from drying out. I also freeze some of them for later cravings. For frying, heat 3 to 4 cups of canola oil over medium high heat. Wait for the temperature to reach 330 to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Then carefully lower the uncooked banana lumpia. Avoid overcrowding. Cook them for 3 to 5 minutes or until golden. Flip them over and cook the other side for equal time. Place the cooked banana lumpia on a cooling rack. Allow excess oil to drip off. In the meantime, place the leftover cinnamon sugar in a pot. Put on a stove top to melt over medium-high heat. When the sugar starts melting, stir occasionally. Allow the sugar to melt and caramelize. Then immediately drizzle over the fried lumpia. Drizzle as much as you want. Transfer the banana lumpia to a serving platter with the drizzle side face down. I used some wilted banana leaves for presentation and aroma. Generously drizzle the other side with more caramel sauce. And there you have it, my turon or banana lumpia. Serve warm to enjoy the crispiness. Enjoy!